Hello and welcome to Force 13's forecast for the upcoming Northern Hemisphere cyclone seasons around the world. It's the first forecast that we put out, typically in the beginning of April, in the first days of the month. Uh, our next forecast after this, if there are any changes to make, will be at the end of May, on the eve of Atlantic hurricane season, on May 31st. And in the North Indian Ocean, uh, we are expecting a total of six tropical storms, two cyclones, and one Category 3 cyclone, or higher. Not a huge amount to say, but we are looking, obviously we're expecting six storms, so uh, the North Indian Ocean is always much less active than the other areas, and they have two, um, two particular peaks, generally June, May and June, and then again in October, November. We're expecting the October, November peak to be much largest, uh, with probably two or three storms between October and December. Uh, but we're expecting a higher than average chance of a significant cyclone impact in eastern India and in Bangladesh. Now that could happen this month or next month um, because of other analogues. We could see a fanny type storm, we could see a storm like the Bangladesh cyclone in 1991 at a worst case scenario um, and uh, also the one in 1990 as well. So we could see some kind of activity like that. We'll wait and see. That will be the first indicator of whether these predictions are correct or not. We're also looking at uh, significant cyclones in the Arabian Sea. They're possible but unlikely. They're much likely to be weaker storms in the Arabian Sea this year, but they could still impact the Arabian Peninsula. Um, and activity will strongly favor the Bay of Bengal this year. So that is the main bulk of our analysis, our expectations over the coming year. They are just predictions, they can change and they can of course not be correct. But like with predictions that we've been doing for the last four or five years now, they've not been too far away from the mark. It's looking likely that 2019 is actually a very good analogue for 2020, so it's more than likely that we'll probably see similar conditions to what we saw last year around the world.